Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Hopefully you have a great day wherever you are in the world and uh, let's dig right into the story. So what's going on? Uh, what's the story? I think it's very interesting because basically what's going on right now is you can pay for your gas through your Apple Car Play, which is, I think is a very reasonable and very logical step. You know, we use our phone to pay for things and using Apple Pay. So just moving forward. Um, so before I go any further, uh, this whole article I'm showing you has come to us from Car and Drive and written by Sebastian Blanco. So um, as always, I have a link to this article in the description below. So, okay, what's going on? So let's read the headlines. A vehicle equipped with Apple Car Play might soon move to payment part of gassing up at the pump to the dashboard without need to pull the credit card. Basically, just go on your screen, click, and just pay. Makes sense. Uh, how this would work currently, we don't know yet. This is currently under wrap. And the, the test bed for this is St. Clair Station. It's called St. Clair. It's just, um, it's like Shell, Chevron, whatever, some brand. And they have a 1600 station right now, a network, and they're trying to work with CarPlay and trying to make this option available. Again, you know, just the establishing network, but I guarantee you this is going to, this is going to be station-wide. This is going to be definitely become part of just how to pay for things. I guarantee you. Okay, this is not going to be just St. Clair. This is going to be Chevron, Shell, definitely. They're all going to jump on this bandwagon because it makes sense. Convenience. Who does not want convenience? Well, I want to get out of your car, pull your credit card. Because what you're doing is basically essentially the same thing. You're just connecting to a network when you're paying for something. It's not like physically. Yeah, of course, you the physical card hold the data in which you communicate right you know whatever encryption it has but your car could have that encryption so there you go uh, if you're an it person i'm pretty sure you just see, obviously see the natural progression of of this this progress you know it's the evolution of how we use money so i don't i i think that is something that's fantastic and i guarantee it's gonna go on and on it's gonna be expanded to multiple stations not just st Clair. currently it's st Clair. um moving on gm tried a version of in dash fueling in 2017 and 18 but the automaker ended the marketplace technology behind the service this past March. Again, technology, when we talk about 2017, 18, that's ancient history. Right now, things are different. 2022, things are different for sure. But as I said, I definitely see this being a thing that is definitely going to catch on and is going to move forward. So anyways, but currently, currently, as of now, how this is going to work is still under wrap. 1600 station St. Clair Network hope to make CarPlay payment an option when the software is updated this fall. So when? This fall. Where? 1600 St. Clair stations. Uh, there's one next to my house, but it is stupid expensive, so I don't go there. <laughs> uh, we don't have that many St. Clairs in uh, what I live around my area. But hey, if you have one next to your area, congratulations. Um, so anyway, Reuter, and then, uh, so this article is, you know, I guess, uh, using Reuters to kind of give them the background. It's saying Reuters reporting a new dashboard fuel, pay, fuel payment uh, future scheduled to be released this fall in an update version of a car play. Uh, while Apple apparently shows off the future in its developer conference in June, details about the fuel payment were not made public until now. Reuters has confirmed with at least one gas station chain owner, HFE St. Clair, which makes its diesel and gasoline brand at over 600 stations in 30 states. The company said it hopes to integrate the new car play option with its uh, station and provide more details soon. Hey, um, I like it. Hopefully, we see this in more places. And then the article talks about GM short-lived experience. I'm not a big fan of these things because uh, it, once people tell you like, hey, we tried this back in 2017. I understand that, but technology changes everything. So the software and everything changes. The technology from 2017 is no comparison to technology from 2022 especially when we're talking about cutting edge and we're talking about this. So uh, with all the respect, yeah, cool. But if you try it right now, it'll be cheaper. It's just just the way things are, you know, it's just uh, it, it is what it is, you know, it. So uh, it, it's cool, but um, that doesn't mean anything. So um, I guarantee you this technology is going to go for it. I guarantee it, but not now. And meaning that uh, it's not currently active now. And once one person makes it work, everyone else is going to copy it, which is, what did I say? Copying is the greatest form of flattery or whatever. So uh, anyways, um, it's good for us, for the consumer. It makes my life more convenient. You have to get out of your car. I can't wait for the day where you don't have to get out of your car at all, right? You just sit there, you know, like kind of like Wally with just a straw in your mouth and he just, beep, and just the car drives, that parks for you. You don't have to do anything. 
Um, <laughs> no, it's not a passive aggressive. No, but anyways, uh, uh, that's that's the latest news. Uh, anyways, uh, as always, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, you know, be safe out there. You know, it's a holiday weekend, so uh, be safe out there, and uh, hopefully enjoy your uh, holiday. Uh, well, at least here in the state, we have Fourth of July, so fireworks and barbecue and hot dogs and all that good stuff. So happy birthday, America, and uh, take care, everyone. I'll see you next time. Be safe out there. Don't drink and drive. All right, take care. Bye bye.